Everything I do, I do it with a passion Ain't nothing, ain't nothing gonna stop me from making it happen Hello guys, my name is Poetry Sisters. If you're new, be sure to hit that subscribe button And today, I'm going to talk about Something that I never ever thought I would do And that is Not continuing my education I'm going to explain to you guys why I feel that way. So, if you guys don't know, or if you do, for those of you who do know me, um, you'll know that I received my bachelor's degree in Washington, D.C. I'm not going to give the name of the school for safety reasons. Um, I received my bachelor's in Washington DC in 2014 and uh, how I decided my major was just the worst way I could have picked my major but it's also the major that I needed to go into at the time. So originally I was planning on being an interpreting major. Like I wanted to be an interpreter to interpret for deaf people and also deaf blind people. So I had took, you know, some beginner courses at my college and um, I was very excited, very adamant very enthusiastic to become an interpreter major. And, you know, some of my professors, you know, would give me a side eye, you know, when I don't get something right, right away. And so, you know, I peeped it, but I never said anything. So then I had a meeting with the dean of, um, the interpreting department at my university, right? And um, he decided, mind you, the dean of the interpreting department was okay, was a Caucasian white male. Let me put that out there so y'all know. And he decided to sit from behind his desk and tell me. Well, um, I don't think that this is the right major for you. I feel like you should go into a different field. I said, excuse me, what? And this is like right when I was just learning sign language again. Mind you, I had no sign language, but I wanted to get on my feet and perfect it and everything like that. So this is when I was to his name. He's like, yeah, I don't think this is the right way to see you. I think you should go into a different field. I said, no, but this is something that I want to do. This is something that I came to this university to do. I came to this university to be an interpreter with you. He said, no, I think it's best if you pick another field. So, I wind up picking social work, but I didn't go into the social work field until the spring of my sophomore year. That's why I ended up graduating in 2014, because I took it in the spring of my sophomore year, and also because I, I had left for a semester and came back, so I ended up taking it in the spring of my sophomore, no, I think it was my sophomore junior year. Yeah, sophomore junior year, I ended up taking it in the spring. And I sat down with the dean of the social work department. No, I sat down with one of the professors of the social work department. I will never forget her name. And I will never forget her face, which I'm not telling y'all. Cause I liked her. She was a cool professor, and she was black too, and she had dreads too. Love her, 
and then um, she was like, okay, well, you just have to take these courses right here, and then the next semester, you'll be assessment major. So I declared my major the next semester. Um, so I was taking assessment um, electives to kind of see what I wanted to go into with the assessment period. And disclaimer before I go into the next part of the story, I took all of the courses that I needed to take and the one that stood out, yes I understand that you need to know government for, you know, sexual reasons, um, I had to take government, that was a requirement, but I took child welfare and I was like, yep, if I ever go into the social work field as like a real social worker, that's something that I would want to do. Child welfare. Yes, I would uh, rather do that. And how it, how it became a field for me is just everything. So, um... I started taking on social work courses and you know we would go to seminars and stuff like that. We would go to um we would go to like different events on campus. Cause most of the stuff that we had to do was on campus. So I just by when I got into the third semester of um, social work, I fell in love with it, fell in love with it, fell in love with my classmates, fell in love with my, some of my professors, and um, like the people in my class, yo, we were like family, man, like, if you need a, a description of a family, that was us. We were like family. We was, when I tell you family, that, that was that. I have a graduation picture of all of us. All of us. And we graduated together. All of us. Like that? So, um, yeah. And then by my senior year, by my senior year, I was like, I don't want to do this anymore. I don't know why I have that feeling. No, by my junior year, by the end of my junior year, the beginning of my junior year, I was cool. The end of my junior year, I was like, I don't want to do this anymore. I want to do photography. Um, and it just was like, yo, I'm always thinking about something creative. I'm always thinking about doing something creative. I'm a creative. Yes, I don't mind helping people, you know, as it not be in a field, but I have a degree in that, so it's my job to help people. But I can't seem to get a job and help people. Even though, you know, in retail, you do help, you know, your customers and stuff like that as far as them looking for certain items and asking for prices or asking certain questions pertaining to the store and stuff like that. Yeah, you're helping in that sense, but as far as I like, with child welfare, the LGBT community, homelessness, um, um, domestic violence, those are the fields I'm working. Um, anything pertaining to the detriment of a child or an adult or an elderly person or anything like that, anything that involves is under the umbrella of social work, I want one job where I can do all of that. And I know there is one job where I can do all of that. But for some reason, I'm turning away from that job. Like I, There's one job where I can do everything I want to do, and it's vocational rehabilitation. But my thing is, I don't understand why I'm turning away from that. And I, but I can't kind of give y'all a reason as to why I think I'm turning away from it. 
I think I'm turning away from the taste of rehabilitation because of the simple fact that so much of my creative side is taking over right now. Like so much is like, uh, don't don't worry about that. Focus on your create your, your focus on your creativity. Focus on that. Don't worry about, you know, vacation we have and then uh, But because of my creative side, that's stopping me from being like, yeah, you know, you gotta go over there and get that. But I want to be able to get that job based on the things that I already know. Like, yeah, I went to school for social work. Yeah, I have a degree in social work. But there's nothing like actually being in it. And you're, and you're able to tell, you know, people, well, um, you know, with this, this is what you're supposed to do. And with this, this is what you're supposed to do. And I know there's like, you know, under the umbrella of social work, there is vocation rehabilitation. But my whole thing is, I would have to go to school to be, to be able to work in that field. And I, Something about it is just like, no, don't go to school. That's not what I want to do. I don't want to be in vacation and rehabilitation counselor. Yes, I have experience in it. I've worked with mental health. I've worked with homelessness. I've worked with, um, I've worked in an office setting. Um, I always had to communicate with people when it comes to any job that I have. Um, I am very well versed in the you know policies and procedures that the patient and rehab has for people because I'm actually in it. I, I know I've been with vacation and rehabilitation since I was a junior in high school. So how can I not know what not to do and what to do? We have so many deaf people out here complaining about, you know, having we all, but they don't have no interpreters. You got so many people out here, um, struggling and they need the money and they're actually clients of yours but you know things come through and y'all don't come with what y'all say y'all gonna come with like there's been a lot of complaints about the and even though I could be the one to change that and I know I could be the one to change that I know I could be the one to change that whole thing and how they along with their structure. I know I could be the person to change it, but for some reason it's just like, mm-mm. Like, I wanna show you what I can do with my vouchers before I go get that. I wanna show you what I can do with my vouchers, especially being a person that knows firsthand how much patient and rehabilitation is knows first hand so I don't understand maybe this is just my mindset for right now not understanding how I don't have the skill set to be a vacation and rehabilitation counselor y'all just want a paper to prove that I know about this why do I need a paper to show you that I know about being a vote we have cancer when I've seen firsthand as a client how they treat their clients. Uh, I'm, I'm just so focused on the creative side right now. I like being creative. And my creative side is taking over 
Oh, you can make about six hundred k a year. You can make about forty thousand dollars in in the salad. Sixty in the in in, in the Texas. So sixty thousand dollars in your salad. Versus being creative and working hard and struggling for people to see you and all of that. Working hard with no check from this. Or getting 60K and, you know, traveling the world. Sometimes, because you don't travel the world all the time as a social worker. And this, it was so, like, when I stopped school, like, when I stopped going to school, like, once I um, jumped into graduate school, because I, I jumped head first, I jumped head first into graduate school, and I think that was the mistake as well. Me going to graduate school right after I graduated from my undergrad. Because once I got to graduate school and in the second semester, by the way they end, like my grades were not looking good because I wasn't in love with it. I wasn't in love with social work anymore. And like I said, something in my gut, like I know in my core, yo. You need to do what we have. You need to do that. You need to do that. That's what you need to do. But my creative side just be like, yo, um, nah, 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 nah. You need to do this over here. This is what needs to happen because, yo, yo your creativity is just amazing. Like, get over here and do this. Don't worry about that. So I'm battling with school creativity. School creativity. School creativity. Like, I'm battling with that. Like, I have no idea what to do. What to do. No idea what to do. And me being who I am, I'm very indecisive. That's why I have to pick one, because I'm very indecisive. So this is very, very hard for me, battling my education and my creative side. Very, very hard. And that's why I'm not in school right now, even before the whole COVID-19 thing is going on. That's why I haven't applied to continue my education, because I'm scared out of my mind that if I go back and I mess it up because I'm so hard on my creative side, I'm going to be very, very disappointed in myself very disappointed in myself. That's why I, I just want to relax for a minute and be sure that you know, this, this is it. And you know, maybe you guys can kind of help me with this. What, what's your opinion on this? Because, boo boo, I'm having a hard time figuring it out. And I'm almost in my 30s. Yeah, I, I've been out of school since I was 25, 26. Yeah, I've been out of school for a minute. But it feels like it's been a long time, but it hasn't. It hasn't been a long time, but it has. And yeah, that's, that's what it is. So, um, you guys let me know what you think down in the comments, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, y'all.
I'm a Northeast baby, bitch, I swam too cold I got three different numbers, so I can earn your code I'm a shop with these niggas, cause they selling they souls